Anyway, this game is very old. I will say that. I haven't played this in a while, so I have to get used to controls because this is an emulator. Playing through it again. I cannot see chat. Hold on, I'll get chat set up on my phone. Pretty much this game is a turn-based, strategy-based game. It is very old, in fact. I want to say... Actually, when was this game made in? I, I would need to double check. But I've gotten so good at this game, in fact, at least from what I can remember, to a point where I can play this without um dying a lot at all. There we go. Stream manager is up and going. Pretty much. So I've, I've been in this game on a hard mode so many times. I don't know if it will show up on Conquest, but I've been on Romulan, which is pretty annoying. But here, here's the main goal. We're going to be choosing one of these factions in the Star Trek universe. That is six. Now, I'm going to try to choose one of the decent scouts. I'm not going to choose. I'm not going to choose anything from the. Actually, I may choose something from the Klingon Dominions. It depends. It depends on how good the scouts are. I guess usually I don't use scouts. I would say one of the toughest hitting ones would probably be the, either the Romulans, Cardassians, or the Federation. The problem with using a scout from the Federation is the fact that it's painful. It depends on what we want to do. Uh, okay, so the Klingons, they have great weapons and maneuvering. The problem is the shielding. I want something that can take a lot of damage and not just go wee to death. This one, not much shielding. The Breen are a joke. Don't ever choose them unless you just want to hide it out like a turtle. Cardassians might be a good bet to go with because their scouts are decent. The problem is the costing will be painful. We don't have to worry too much about cost. Shielding, I don't want to go with the Dominion. The Dominion are like, if you want to win any game, you always choose them. The Federation's kind of like pain, pain, very much pain. I might go with Federation at some point. I don't think they have any shield upgrades, though. I want to go with something with shield upgrades, because shield upgrades are the best. I don't think we get any shield upgrades. We do get maneuvering upgrades. I might I'm probably going to go with the Federation, because we do get maneuvering upgrades. Let's go with the Federation for now. Actually, yeah, no. Because the industry is really good with the Federation. The facilities? Facilities are poop for everyone. Mostly. I'm going to go with the Federation. Federation is a meh. It's going to be very risky to do it, but the best thing to always go with is Aaron. Or Aaron. He can move more times than normal for this turn-based game. We're going to have max opponents. Hard mode. And hope we don't die is not the best, but I don't want to go with somebody too overpowered because I want to make this challenge difficult. But my main role was not to use the Klingons or the Federation because they're kind of buff. Not the Federation, I mean Dominion. Or, like, the top three, I would say, are the, are the um, Dominion, Cardassians, and the Klingons. We are the Federation, though. So, we're only going to be using scouts for this. Get, get that cruiser out of here. We're gonna save a lot of money though. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. This is a good reason why people hate this game. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Yeah. It gets annoying over after a while. Orders. Orders received. That is loud. Epic music. The music in this game is actually pretty decent though. Technical difficulties, I gotta look back at the controls. <laughs> um Controller Bonum 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 I wanna say Oh on what button is um 
Epic music, but what button? What do I need? Ah, there's too many stuff here. So... Audio just died, what? Okay, so one button is for... Oh, I can see chat in red. I don't, I don't need my phone for this. But, um... One button is... Okay, so A is zero. That is for one. Uh... So A is zero. B is one. One, two, Q and E. Q is minus, E is plus. Okay. Okay, um. Wanna do B. Is B zero? That was a bad idea. Okay, I was wrong. I have to get used to the controls again. But the basis of this is by going cheap. We're, we're going to do a bit better with certain things. Okay, this is arcade mode. Arcade mode's the one way we want to go. Because arcade mode, we can actually control our ship. It's not like randomly simulated battles and hoping you win. So as you can see, we are currently... I actually do my, need my phone to see chat. That's pain. So I can command them all to stay near me, and I can tell them to target exactly where I'm firing. The problem with scouts, and the reason why I don't like them, is because they have no shields. They have to really favor their maneuverability. Which makes it so much more difficult. Especially going against dreadnoughts or cruisers. Ah! What we want to do is get some distance. Fire. The shields are down. As you can see, those bars are our shields. The green and the red and orange. Come here. Okay, we, we won. We want to just wipe out every enemy as soon as possible. Because if we do not, we're probably going to go into a lot of huge problems. I'm going to focus a lot on economy first, because we want to be able to quickly, in case we lose a scout, get a new one. That's another turn. And this is another reason why people hate this game. It's a fair reason for why most people dislike this game, to be fair. Voice acting could have been improved on. Ah, there's our first dreadnought. A pinkish, brownish ship. I forgot what class that is. All I know is that this game it considers it a dreadnought, but to be fair, this game considers anything huge as a dreadnought. It considered a cruiser or dreadnoughts. It's it's kind of just what. We got this. Let's focus on the Dreadnought. Dreadnought is very huge. Shields are already get, getting low. They got to get out, take it out. Got a cruiser. I am 100% getting copyrighted for ending this music, I bet. Fire! Cruiser's down, cruiser's down, shields are down. Take it out. Big boy, big boy. Yeah, we, we don't have much power at all. We have lower ammunition shots, or technically lower regeneration as well. Lower shields, lower everything. Except for shields. Ah, my... Everything is about to die. They're not still alive. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Ah, we lost the scout. Ah, it's not gonna help at all. So this this game's gonna go pretty easily for now. What we want to do is take out the Klingons as soon as possible. These guys, because if we take them out as soon as possible, we won't have to deal. We'll actually have a lot more territory. The Klingons possess the most territory in the game from starting off. So. 
capture, preventing them from being able to expand and knocking them out as soon as possible gives us a lot of money to work with. I would say the music in this game is actually pretty good. Fire, fire, fire! Come on! So this is the first actual enemy we've had to face. And we're down one ship. Come on, fire, fire, fire! Got another one. It is better to actually regen all your, like, energy first, I guess, phaser power, and then fire. Yep, two more, two more. Yeah, we have primary and secondary weapons for this game. Oh, no, you don't. Get back over here. Yikes, we almost lost another scout. Beautiful. Okay. So, we've not taken out one of their ships. This system is going to be the next one to fall, so I'm not going to help it out much. Mining colony constructed. My main goal is just to stall them. Do we have enough? Do we have enough money? I don't think we have enough money for them. No, we do have enough money. We're going to get a person over here. Um, We're going to go with the fence for now. We cannot get a scout. That's okay. We're not going to use this ship. We cannot, pretty much, if we have a cruiser in our fleet, we cannot use it. We cannot use that admiral at all until later. Until we get rid of it, pretty much. That's my rule base for this. Destroy them all. We can only use scouts. Like I said, they're going to go up there. Under it's the yeah, we couldn't do much. But that's okay. Lost. Now they're going to go for us. Ah, oh, yes. I'm, I'm afraid. I do like these little, like, things that tell you about each system you go into or fight at. Oh, that was a very close spawn. They're right by our, um, mining thing. Oop. Take him out. Why does that thing have such great tracking? Come on! Bum, bum, bum. One more. Wow, he's sturdy. We got him. Woo! Mission accomplished. Well, the music in this game is still decent, I'd say. And now we have to wait for this to go on. I think we'll be able to see the Cardassians this turn. That'll be a shocker. <laughs> nope, we do not. <laughs> now, one thing I'm going to double check. It's been two turns, alright? So, if there's one enemy that you'd never want to deal with late game, and that is the Dominion. If they have four or five territory, I mean, that means they have a really good start. I missed it. I was going to check. But um, if you have a really good start, most of the time you're dead. Orders. Orders received. Let's take out this guy first. We are very much outmatched. This is why the scout idea is very difficult. But we have speed. What else do we need? Death? Full power to weapons. Yep. Three. Two, one. Got shields down for one of them. Take out the cruiser. Let's get some distance. We got this. Drag shots, take them out. Come on. Mainly we want to create a circle because a circle tends to be the best strategy for this game. Fire! Got one. So close. We can fire off screen, by the way. 
We got a cruiser boat. You can fire off screen, which is very helpful. It goes a bit further than what you think in normal, normally. Come on. Can we take him out? Yes, we can. Got another scout. Come on, one more. And that was a pretty quick breeze. It will get harder the further we go because more nations or empires will become more powerful. And they'll be persuaded to attack us a lot more. Ah, I probably shouldn't have gone with Mining Colony. That was a big mistake. It was supposed to go with the research. But we're going to continue with this route because we want to get as much money as possible first. Orders received. Okay. For the for when we're attacking a station or like an outpost defense, you just want to fire from afar. But for some reason they have really bad range. <laughs> the Federation has one advantage, which is what I love, is that they have further range for firing than other empires or factions. Usually it's a lot more closer look, but for them it's more stretching, which is so beneficial. Now it's too close! Yeah, you can fire from right here, I believe. No, you cannot. I remember the scouts have a lot less range, but the torpedoes reach just as far as other ships. We went down here, right? Oh, I can't reach it. Yeah, we can kind of reach it. I don't want to risk too much. They got their mining colony now. Or their mining facility, I should say. Getting a bit closer. Okay, we managed to dodge most of their shots. And one more barrage. Yep. Gotta be careful over here, though. The station has far better range than the smaller defenses. Just keep on circling. Circles are the best thing in this game. We got one. And can I reach it? Yes, I can. Okay, now the station can one-shot us if we get directly too close. You have to be very careful about this. Come on. Okay, we're getting some good shots on it. That's the first layer of shielding down. Does not have full range reach. I can't even see my mouse. <laughs> okay. Final barrage. Their shields are now gone, I believe. Almost gone. Firing. One more barrage. They got a one shot on me. Luckily, it was not a critical. We are safe. Now it should be a breeze from here. We can, we can risk more of it now. Nice thing about scouts are so maneuverable. You can, like with dreadnoughts in this game, you cannot do this kind of thing where you circle around so nicely. Oh, well, scouts, the breeze. Mission accomplished. Ooh. 
So now we have two home worlds we can abuse. Mainly for research. Research facility constructed. Speaking of which, I might change that. Did I already build? I have not. We'll do that later. Okay, now, now our income should be a lot higher. We're going to get rid of the cruiser now because we got to follow the rules. Scout. Scout constructed. We now have two fleets. You can have a maximum of three fleets in this game. No more. Yes, you can have less. <laughs> they show themselves. The Dominion, or what they want to call themselves for the founders, or, you know, their, their little saying. They're the most dangerous group in this game. Upgrade available. They're pretty much probably going to end up being the final boss. We're going to go for research efficiency because faster we can get research done, the better. Speaking of which, we're going to fix this and make that. Hmm. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Little, little problem with the, um, Awaiting orders you know, received. fog of war. Ooh. That's be a breeze. I'm not going to build this because the only way to get new ships is if you build like one. There's two types of stations you can get. Oh gosh, we spawned right next to them. That's not good. We run. We run like crazy. And they're right on our butts. We got this. We got this. Come on. Another one down. Now we just have to deal with the cruisers. These guys really should be dreadnoughts, but ignore that fact. Fun fact, this game is made by Bethesda. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Awaiting orders. And we continue to expand. Ferengi. For some reason, the Ferengi are more powerful than the Borg for some reason. <laughs> I I don't know. No question. Full power to weapons. We always go for full weapons because shields do not help us that much compared to um just quickly clearing this place out as soon as possible. Get a few good pocket shots on them. Come on. Few shots, few shots, few shots. Two more. Ah, there's a huge cruiser. Look out! Oh, that's a dreadnought. Wow. I had some weak shields. Huh. If we've promoted, that means we can move four positions now instead of three. Or Originally, we had two. Well, whenever you rank up as a movement... Admiral, you can move like an extra one for each level up, pretty much. Unable to proceed. Okay. Now we just continue getting these research. research we only I put the research on the highest tiers because that means we get we pretty much our research won't be badly affected in case if we lose one. But if we lose our mining colonies, if we put our mining colonies on the largest points, like I don't think it's as worth it as if you put research. For the larger ones, because then you have less to defend in case we want to keep our research going. Research saves more lives than anything else. Now we fix up this fleet. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Scout. And now, since we have a good defense, we will end the turn. For the Empire. Oh, the Romulans show up. They're the next people we'll go for. For Cardassia. For the founders. Infrastructure report. Special okay. Upgrade available. Next upgrade, we're going to keep going for research efficiency. Research efficiency increased. And we should be able to actually get pretty close to the enemies. 
Now, we can use our special ability, but it's not really worth it right now. Because, you know... We, pretty much if you have to move your ship off and to use it, it's not worth it because so that leaves your home or main system pretty much vulnerable. Awaiting orders. Orders received. It's never good. That's will be a breeze. We got this. Full power to the weapons. Fire! And there is some level of skill here, but it's not too big. And there we go. We have now controlled most of the region which normally the Klingons would get. Because here's the thing. When you're in the Federation, you really... Most AI tend to only go for these three around you. And that makes expanding really difficult. The Klingons, they can... Since they have three ships, or I mean two fleets in total, they can have one position positioned here, here, and here, and they will never get pushed. It's really good choke points. The Federation has no luxury, so you have to move fast whenever you're playing as them. This would have learned playing the Federation. Federation is definitely possible, but it's pain. Oh no. Yikes. We're gonna lose some ships here. We're definitely gonna lose some ships here. Hopefully we don't spawn right next to them like last time. It does not look like we spawned right next to them. No, we're safe. Okay. Firing in three, two, one. That was a bad call. Should have fired one second earlier. My gosh, they can keep up with us really well. Enemy cruiser eliminated. We got a cruiser. No, he's right there. Ah. We got him, we got him. Got another one down. And we got him. Hello, Thunder. I see you chilling out in the chat. This music's pretty good, though. We destroyed the target. And that is another one done. Man, the only scouts challenge can be difficult. Okay. Now, there is base. <laughs> I'm sorry for being a nerd. Okay. So, because there is a little ship over here, I'm going to establish... A small defense, quote unquote small, so that they will not push over here successfully. We're going to continue to push upward. Because we want to wipe out the Romulans as soon as possible. But they're pretty much in the top right. Okay, coming in from the bottom right again. That was a bit early. That's okay. There are, we're only fighting scouts this time, so we're safe. Never mind, we're fighting one cruiser. Maybe two. Yeah, two. I was seeking two. The one over here. That guy's dead. One more. Oh, no, you don't. Got another one down. We're moving very quickly through this. Yeah. Like I said, Aaron is probably one of the best admirals you can get in this game. He moves so quickly. I've already charted most of this map at this rate. <laughs> Okay. No, it was way too early, but it's fine. Got one. Fire away! And the other one's down. 
We are breezing through this. Because right now, all we're fighting are neutral entities, not like these guys. I don't know how they'll counter us. End turn. For the Empire. For the Confederacy. <laughs> they do nothing. For Cardassia. And they ignore us. That is a great news. Those guys are the scary ones. They're the most they're the ones I'm most worried about. Research efficiency increased. Okay. We're about to Oh I'm What have I done? I misclicked! I misclicked! Ah <laughs> Oh well. That's one turn less. That's okay. The important thing is that we are safe. Kind of. Well, since we're since we're over down here, we might as well just get a new scout. scout constructed. Fortifications constructed. Scouts are pretty weak. That's why I'm going with them. This challenge, but so far we've been doing really well. I think it's about time we can afford a new fleet. This is the last fleet we can build, and then we have to get stuck with these guys. Now, I like this Admiral a lot because he has an he has an advantage in attack damage, which I want to level him up as soon as possible because he may be our only chance of winning against the Dominion. Unable to proceed. Awaiting orders. On our way. And turn. For the Empire. Woo. For the Confederacy. That's not good. For Cardassia. I do not like that. Wow. Oh no. What? <laughs> I've never seen them fail after two direct attacks. That's a shocker. That's a first. Okay, now we're going to focus on mining efficiency. Admiral cost is the most pointless thing in the game. And ships... Be this stuff will be helpful later. For now, we got to focus on these kinds of things. Increase. Because we're going to be losing a lot of scouts soon. Awaiting orders. Warp speed. Anything. Let's head this Awaiting guy down. And let us attack Awaiting orders. the Romulan homeworld. Or the home Romulan, you know, their main system. Affirmative. Home system. That's it. Romulans. Same goes with the Klingons we're going to be fighting from afar. Because that's a safer way of doing it. Kind of funny they didn't leave any ships behind to defend. Okay, let's fire. Are we in range? Take a bit of damage. We're trying to avoid damage the best we can. Another barrage. Ow. That hurt. Now we take out their mining colony. So long. One more. And they're goner. Next, next outpost. And then... Ah, uh, too close, that's too close! Yikes, they missed, they missed. We're safe, we're safe. We have to be very careful. That thing could one-shot us if it gets a critical hit. Could. Doesn't mean it will. Could. Ooh. We're lucky, we're lucky. I think a ship just caught on fire. It's, it's okay. We'll get up closer and hopefully dodge most of our attacks. Careful. We do get out. 
I think there's one ship that's been taking a lot of damage. I don't know which one, though. And we did it! Romulan home system captured. We've annihilated two civilizations, pretty much, because they still have a ship left, but we can take it out pretty easily. We've destroyed We've the achieved our objective. Yeah, there's sh they only have one ship left now. That should be easy to Awaiting kill. Orders. Affirmative. Attack! This will be pretty quick. They used, there's two types of stations. This is the weaker station we're going against. A lot cheaper, too. Shocker. Oh! That hurt. Our shields are down. Show them. Yikes! Careful, careful, careful. The front shields are almost gone, but we, we took out their only defense. I feel bad for whoever lives on this mining colony over here. Or not mining, I mean research. I thought it was mining. So long! You know, this game is very old. I actually kind of like the idea of it. This whole, like, having, like, only three fleets and seven ships in each fleet. That, I don't know. It feels nice in a way. Not too chaotic, but fun. I would love to see a remake of this game. Okay. Not put anything here. More research, and then we should be perfectly fine now. Nothing else we can do. For the Empire. For the Confederacy. Yeah, the Confederacy or the Breen Confederacy is really just dumb. Oh, that's what I was thinking. They see scouts, they want to go for the scouts. This is the part that's going to get a lot harder. Because whenever an enemy sees scouts, they're always going to push because they're like, scouts, they're weak. This is what makes the scout a lot harder than a dreadnought to deal with. I mean, that sounded wrong. I'm dumb. It's more tempting for somebody to attack if they see a bunch of scouts, so. Okay. They are attacking something. They're attacking our station. That's not good. This is why I wanted a lot of money, is because we have to repair a lot. I mean, a lot. Come here. Oh, they took out our main star base. This is never good. Come here, boy. Yikes. We took out one. They got the cruisers. Direct shot. Oh, come on. Oh, what if our ships lost its shields? You can tell on the bottom. Ah! Nice thing the scouts are so maneuverable. These scouts are trailing behind us right now. We got a scout. Come on! Woo! We only have two dreadnoughts left to deal with. They took out all defenses almost. Come here! You cannot escape! This is for Earth. Oh, he's still, he's still, he's still, he's not moving! Hold on! Fire! Ah, oh, so close! Are down. Take him out! We took out a dreadnought! One more! Oh, don't you dare try to escape! Most AI never try to retreat. That's what I've learned. Especially against scouts. We took out their fleet. They, were, they didn't retreat. <laughs> we did lose all our defenses. All of them. Oh, gosh. He's fast.
Genesis device is one of the special weapons, by the way. It will half all HP in the area. Ow. This is why I wanted to focus a lot on economy. Watch how much money we have to waste for this place. This costs 100. Cost 20. This also costs 20. This also costs 20. That is around 160 per outpost. So we want to keep these as protected as possible. Awaiting orders. Affirmative. Now, if we win this fight, we can get the Argus array. It gives you a lot of range. Like, you can see the entire map. It's no longer it gets rid of all fog of war for you. Which is why we want it. Because then we can see how all the Dominion's doing. Full power to weapons. Fire! It is a full cruiser fleet. That's not good. Cruisers are completely anti-scouts. This may be a tougher fight than we thought. This is for Earth. We'll show them. One's coming over. Get keep the distance. Hello there. Got one, got one. Come on. Got another one. Keep the distance. Okay, there's two left. We should we should be able to win this one pretty easily. Full firepower. One more. No damage, wow. Mission accomplished. And we did it, so now we can see the full territory. The brain are struggling with everything they do, as normal. And we are doing excellent. And we want a pretty good defense here because this thing we do not want to lose. Advanced star base constructed. We're going to focus on money for this area because we need it. It's a four star. The stars in the top of the map determine how much a system can give of that, like any type. So if they're a four star, it can give you a lot for whichever thing you put there. For example, a mining colony, you get a lot more than a one star. And capitals and these special areas can have like four stars, which is why they're so important. Okay, well. Ugh. Not again. I think we should wipe out the Breen as soon as possible, their main place. We, we want to finish this game as soon as possible so that we can defeat the Dominion before we can get into Unstoppable Mode, pretty much. Because once they get a full Dreadnought fleet, you might as well give up. That's too close. Hey, we did it! What they raised? I'm just calling we did it because honestly, this is too easy. The Romulans are pretty weak. They don't. I don't think they have many defense upgrades. The Dominion do have defense upgrades, so their defenses can be improved, as well as I think their HP. I think either their HP or their damage. I want to say it's their HP though. Which is why we want to push on them so early, because we want to prevent them from getting a lot of goodies. Ow, that hurt. Look it out. Shields are getting pretty low. Oh, what? That was a bug. Bethesda, you better fix that. Like, n n this game's all they will never fix it. And we did it. We destroyed the target. And we leveled up. We can go even faster. Just the money. 
Awaiting colony constructed. And then we push. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Affirmative. Now the Breen, they're not much of a threat. They're like the joke in this game. You will never lose to them. Never. Because they can barely do anything. Full power to weapons. Their dreadnoughts are pretty scary, but they barely do anything. But they are our first dreadnoughts we have to deal with, so we have to be very careful about this. Because never underestimate a dreadnought in this game. This is for Earth. Unless if it's a Breen. Then you have a good excuse to. We'll oh, he's right there. Eliminate. No, you! And that's three dreadnoughts down. Our defenses look very weird, I will say that. Another one down. Okay, my shields are down. I need to be more careful. Because I'm starting to lose some HP. Come on. Ow. Hurt. They have some pretty good range. I will admit that. Ow. Enemy turret eliminated. Okay. I'm going to push. We gotta keep our range. One of our shields are down. This is for Earth. Enemy star base. Okay. We are very weak. It wouldn't hurt if we lose one scout, but I don't want to lose him. Enemy destroyed. One more. And we did it. Mission accomplished. Now we can immediately wipe them out from this game. That's hilarious. <laughs> Excuse me. We always want to go for arcade though. Sim? Sim is like gambling. You never want to do it. Unless if you want to die. Full power to weapons. And come out. Enemy turret eliminated. We got this. Enemy Another one down. We got this. First defense down. Buy everything. Oh, that is a powerful defense. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Come on. And it's out. I don't think we have much to fear anymore. 
Never mind, we have something to fear. And he is Gunner. And we just wiped them out. Okay. Easy. We've destroyed the target. Promotion game. Sir, the Freeing Confederacy is no more. Yep. A second one down. We still have to take out the Romulans, but they're not really much of a threat. Hmm. Let's just put fortifications over here for now. Constructed. I'm going to test something really quickly. Because one of the best abilities the Federation has is the defensive subspace disruptor. It prevents anyone from um warping to any the system you choose it on. So, as you can see, no one can get to it. Very helpful. Let's, let's look over here. Take out the Breen's last base and... That should give us a lot of economy. Full power to weapons. That was a bad idea. It's fine though. We'll show Fire. Enemy destroyed. <laughs> what is that one scout doing? Fire one last barrage. And. First defense down again. The brain defenses are a pain to deal with, I feel like. They have a lot of HP. Oh my gosh, what is that range? Ow, that hurt. The brain have great range, I'll admit that. Come out. Enemy turret eliminated. And boom. Eliminated. Green up. And dealt with. Mission accomplished. Yep. We can have the turn now. I'm worried about the Dominion. They already have three fleets up and going. For Cardassia. Mm, don't push me to please don't push me. Thank you. Ugh. We are under attack. It's the Cardassians. Uh. Well, not again. Thought they would have learned from last time. Well, Enemy cruiser eliminated. they got the cruisers first. They're the ones that go for us every time. Enemy cruiser eliminated. Wrong one, wrong one, Minnie, get to the star base. No. Ah, well, rest in peace or Starbase. Nice thing, they, the Dreadnoughts don't attack scouts very often. Strange. Oh, the music just died. I, I don't know why. Come on. Oh, don't, don't run from me. I always runs. Don't run into his fire. Ow. That gotta hurt. Yep. 
Hey, two more scouts. Come here. And dead. I don't know why the Cardassians are being very dumb right now. Other than the fact that they think scouts are... I think, I think the scout, I think the scout strategy is overpowered because the bots don't realize that scouts, I think the AI is designed to where if it sees a scout, it will always go and attack and stays at for attacking and never retreats. Kind of weird. Full mining efficiency. This will save us a lot of time. Special weapon. The first thing I'm gonna do. Genesis device detonated. Ships and this may be our first encounter with the Dominion. In which case, we're probably going to die. Mining colony constructed. constructed. Advanced starbase constructed. I'm not putting as many defenses down here. Waiting Setting course. Because we have to deal with a lot of things right now. Research facility constructed. We'll wait later to fix that. I'm not gonna push yet. I need more money. For the Empire. That's what I was thinking was gonna happen. Let's hope we win this. But we're gonna go with defensive so we can survive the first barrage of attacks, and we're gonna go offensive. I don't think we're gonna win this, but um, we're able to kill them off pretty quickly after this. They don't have enough money to recover after this attack, so... Just, just but a scratch. Oh no! Ah! It's a Wayun! The Wayun is so annoying to deal with. I don't think we're going to win a fight against the Wayun. I'm hoping we do, though. Please. Please kill Wayun. He's a pain to deal with. He retreated. Wayun's the hardest to deal with because he, he can move multiple movements. Okay. I'm thinking, go with this. We kill Wei Yun. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders received. Dominion. These guys, pretty much if you have one dreadnought, it's probably equal to two dreadnoughts of like my my faction, if not three. That's how powerful they are. Full power to weapons. Okay. This time they're no joke. Oh, get away from them. Like, just a bit of damage hurts a lot. Nice thing is they're already pretty weak from that attack. So we actually have a chance. If they had any more ships, we'd be having a lot more trouble. Okay. Need more research. Okay. Mission accomplished. Awaiting orders. Orders received. We push. Ah, they have a full defense. Well, this will be fun to deal with. Their defenses are powerful. I would say that for sure. Depends on how much they have upgraded them. They have not upgraded them at all, pretty much. That's good to know. This is for Earth. Enemy Even the Breen had better defenses. <laughs> Enemy Enemy Easy. 
Oh, what is happening back there? We'll show them. Okay, anyway. Attack! Okay. This is for Earth. Come on. Yikes, they already see lock. They already see us. Okay, fire everything. Looks like they haven't upgraded much of their defenses yet. Which is great news for us, because that means. Oh, wait. That means they may be working on um, upgrading other things, including them, their own ship. If that's the case, we may be doomed. We've destroyed the target. Advanced star base. We're immediately going for the best defenses. Fortifications. Fortifications. Constructed. Mining colony. Constructed. Awaiting orders. And we're going to leave this star base beyond because it's safe for now. Do you think we can win this by just doing sim? I know I don't want to waste money, but I just want to test it. This is this exactly what happens when you do sim? Is it's unpredictable? And you most likely will lose most of your ships. Like right there. We've lost. That's the main reason why I don't like using sim. It's very inaccurate. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Either way, we should be fine. Awaiting order orders. received. Let's see how well this is defended. Oh wow! We've destroyed the target. That's kind of sad. Mining colony constructed. Hopefully, they don't attack us. What are they doing? Don't put a weaker ship right there. Oh no. And Wayun's right there. Fun. Infrastructure report. Special upgrade weapon available. ready for construction. Ship handling. Ship handling. Improved. Awaiting order. Affirmative. Ah, we can only do sim. Yikes. We're going to lose a lot of ships from this. Sim is a lot faster. I just like how inaccurate it is, though. Ah! We lost a lot. By a lot, I mean like one, but still, that's a lot. This is why we want so much money, is because we can just throw it away. Awaiting orders received. Why not? We can totally win this. Wow, these guys suck. And we can be lazy. I don't I don't really mind it. We're producing enough money to where I can be lazy now. Let's put our bets. Can we win this? My ears. My ears hurt after this. Oh, wow. Shocker. Want to do is quickly do this. Mining colony constructed. Star base constructed. Oh, scouts. Scout. You can at least see that. Honestly, it's better to have hull and weapons a lot. Like, <laughs> hull, weapons, and shields are so much better for the dreadnought, but we're sticking with scouts. Scout constructed. Okay. Over here, let us use the Primary subspace disruptor. We are safe. Has broken the system link. But I'm expecting a huge attack, and we're most likely going to lose a lot of ships. Oh, 
Yes, go Cardassia! Ah! Please no. We live! Upgrade available. Ship handling. Improved. Okay, we have a good enough amount of research to a point where we no longer have to keep a ship Priming out of our home base now. The nice thing is if you have enough research, you can start using your special devices every single round. And when you can do that, you can kind of just <laughs> do this constantly. Orders. Orders Very helpful. Romulans. Ugh. Final do arcade. <laughs> it's so easy to win these fights. Just time wise, time wise, it takes forever. A lot of asteroids here. Asteroids. We got this. This is for Earth. Enemy turret eliminated. Enemy turret destroyed. This show. Oh. Wow. I can walk into enemies now and just win. Ow! Okay, no, I cannot. Okay, we aren't losing any ships yet. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Come on. Starbase gone. It's hard to keep track of a mouse. Because it blends in so much of the background. He's... We have definitely captured almost 75% of this map. Look at this. Look at this. It's all blue. All blue. I what that song is. I'm about blue. Mining colony constructed. Anyway. Next turn. Let's hope we don't get destroyed. Why? I think they want to lose it. Are you kidding me? What happened last time? You guys lost. What are they doing? Their assassins are not a threat. They have pretty weak ships. There. No, you don't. Come here. We really don't want to lose our star base because that'll cost a lot of money. No, he's on a weekend. Never mind, he left it. Come on, cruiser. Ooh! Oh, we still have one more enemy to deal with. A singular scout. Is. Mission accomplished. He's like, nah. Okay. Yikes! No! No! Please don't, please don't, please don't. We're under attack. 
Hmm. Ah. The thing I've been dreading the most. This is the part where it starts to get a bit harder. There's one strategy I'm aware of. I don't know how well it'll work. I did it with the Breen. I don't know if I can do it with the Federation. Press me, it's an amazing strategy. First of all, we want them to line up when they're attacking. Calm down! No, you! Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him! Yes! No, save, save! Ah, we lost it. It was a bit too late. We didn't want to take out his... <gasps> they retreated, yes. We're safe. That was a really good run we did. We took out... How much? <laughs> Three dreadnoughts. That is great. We need the turn right. Okay. Priming special weapon. We want to capture this system right here so that we can start using our special ability for other things. What we lose. Advanced star base constructed. Awaiting orders. Orders received. Ah, come on. One by one. Pretty much the reason why we have to use simulation for these kinds of battles is because there's no station. You can only use arcade if there's a controllable and movable entity on the other side of the team. On both sides, I should say. And the station can be controlled, so. We have a lot of money now, so. I think we're going to win this. I'm more worried about losing our fleets, because the fleets are our biggest thing. Oh shoot, I won with Dreadnought. Oops. Um... Hmm. I can't really undo this, can I? We'll do Sim for now. I did not mean to use the Dreadnought. I did not mean to. Let's ignore its existence. Okay, let, let, let's say retreated, so it didn't change much. That's what a Dreadnought looks like. Or supposed Dreadnought. Quotations around it. I'm gonna immediately get rid of it, though. I misclicked. I'm not going to end the game because I've not saved. <laughs> I'm just going to say bye-bye. <laughs> it's okay. It was used for zero point something seconds. It's fine. It's fine. It didn't change much. I hope. Waiting orders. Okay. We're going to start using Genesis device now. Genesis device Ships and structures devastated. Okay. Now we have all scouts. Nothing that ever happened. Adacia. Oh my gosh. We are under attack. It's the Cardassians. I don't even need it. I'm not even going to use arcade. This is too easy. <laughs> this is too easy. We've destroyed the target. The what are they doing? They're going to lose. What? <laughs> oh. Yikes. That's a way you structure report. Special upgrade available for construction. Ship speed. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> they left the they left their choke point undefended. There's something special about this one system, which is that the station here naturally naturally comes back. So if you if it gets destroyed, you don't have to pay for it because it just comes back immediately. 
A very beneficial system, I'd say, for cost saving. Which is why I want it, because we're going to lose that station a lot. Once we get it, we'll be mainly safe, I hope. But the problem is it's super powerful. You see? Fire everything! Okay. Here's the big boy station. Deep Space Nine. Or Terraknor, depends on where you're from. Yeah, those are blue things. There's a big main phaser projectiles river. They're very powerful. Oh my gosh, they actually do a lot. They really do do a lot. One single barrage got my ships down to one or an orange or medium, I should say. We have to be very careful around it. Okay, take it out, boys. I love its destruction, though. It's super satisfying to look at. And it is out. How about the music? Mission accomplished. There is the music. Yeah, Bader captured. DS9 rebuilt and fully operational. As you can see, we get a free station. No, keep coming back. That's why you can't build your own station here. Mining colony constructed. Fortifications constructed. Awaiting orders. This also slowed their research down a lot. Hmm. Let's go, Sim. Sim, we should be able to handle it, right? Come on, we can handle it, right? You kidding me? I, I believed in the Sim, and I should not have. Gambling is bad for you. Don't do it, people. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Okay. Scout constructed. Back to fully constructed scouts. For Cardassia. For the founders. Genesis device detonated. Oh, they lost. Ships and structures devastated. No, no. We're under attack. Yikes. The Dominion. One extra dreadnought than last time. The less dreadnoughts, dreadnoughts we, less dreadnoughts we have to deal with, the better. They're expensive, though. I'm hoping we can just dry the Dominion out clean. Yikes. These guys are huge. Full power to weapons. This is for Earth. No! Destroy them! Yikes, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. One of our turrets has been destroyed. No! I try to take out their shields first. One of our turrets has been destroyed. Take out their shields! Lost the turret. Don't pay attention to me, please! Come on. This is for Earth. Full shot. Take damage, please. One of our scouts took a lot of damage. One of our turrets has been destroyed. Enemy cruisers destroyed. Two more dreadnoughts. We can we can stop them before they start targeting us. Take it out, take it out, take it out! Oh, 
One of our scouts is really weak. Oh. We live. Okay, as you can see, our DS9 came back automatically. We almost have max upgrades, too. I wanted to save as much money as possible, so we only had to waste 40 compared to normal bases. Awaiting orders. Orders acknowledged. Okay, now we can surely win this on sim, right? I'm, I'm gonna keep trying this on sim until we win. We finally defeated their main station. Wow. We're doing it. Cracker. And they are defeated. Look at that. Stations changed the battlefield completely. Summary of it all. Now we can start spamming these. Priming special weapon. Genesis device detonated. Ships and structures devastated. For Cardassia. For the founders. Nice things they're not moving. Ready for construction. Ship speed increased. I think we're gonna push forward down here. We want to cut these guys off and finish them off completely. Genesis device detonated. Orders Ships and structures devastated. We're gonna go with this. Attack! We'll show full power to weapons. Take him out. Enemy turrets destroyed. Enemy turrets destroyed. Enemy turrets destroyed. And there we go. I'm surprised the music hasn't died yet. Sometimes there's a bug in the game where the music just goes away. That's what I was thinking. They have a fully, like, one of the best stations they can get. Come on. We need to take it out as soon as possible. On, look it out. You more? We are currently safe. None of our scouts have died yet. Actually, I think scouts are actually more overpowered than doing full dreadnought teams, because the scouts are so quick. You can outmaneuver any ship you want. We've destroyed the target. Only downside with scouts is that they're weak in every other area. Okay. I think it's about time we start doing this. There's one thing I'm worried about, which I'm very happy the Dominion have not done yet. They have, they can create a wormhole. They can get them anywhere across the map. So if they would have done that, I probably would have lost because they could have been anywhere over here. I mean, take them a while to catch up with them. So, you know, <laughs> but they were nice enough not to do that. Cardassia for the founders. Infrastructure report. Special Upgrade weapon available. Ready for construction. Ship turn rate increased. I wanted that dreadnought on the top to go down a bit because then Priming special weapon. There's an excuse to constantly attack them while also weakening the system there. Device detonated. Ships okay. and structures devastated. 
Awaiting orders acknowledged. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's a Wayun. Wayun is known to be very annoying. Very, very annoying. This is our first encounter with a full fleet from the Dominion. Not full dreadnoughts, but a full fleet. Full power to and we have to spawn right next. Oh, we spawned right next to them. Yikes. No, no. Get away from me. Please. Okay. I think we start doing our circle strategy. This is one reason why I don't like to go against full Dreadnought fleets. Oh no. This may be the hardest fight we actually have to do. Go circle, go circle. The circle strategy does kind of work on them. Technically it's more like an oval I would say. Why are they right there? Problem is you don't want to go too fast or else they can catch up with you or do so. Come on. Oh gosh. Come on. A little bit more. Direct shots, direct shots! Get away from there! Yikes, that was a bad idea. Four scouts left. Yikes. No, get away! Another one? Come on! They are so close to death! We just gotta keep on circling, we gotta keep on firing, and hope and pray that they're dumb enough to fall into it. Like right there. One more, one more, one more. Oh! Four, four scouts left. And we still have to take out this outpost. I think they also increase their defenses strength. Maybe it's just me. Our fleet feels very small. And we're about to lose another scout. Yikes. Oh gosh, <laughs> our, one of our scouts is just hanging on. Barely. Don't die, don't die. Okay. This is for Earth. We're gonna lose a scout on this next attack. For sure. This is what I mean by the Dominion are the hardest to deal with. We've lost a lot of our ships. <laughs> we'll show them. We've lost the scout. Yep. Yep. There's no way to avoid that. Come on. Enemy destroyed. I wish this, I wish this game was more lore accurate with like 300 kilometer range effective range. 
for effectiveness range. But no, we're stuck with... Can we see them or can we not range? on oh wait okay we've lost how many like usually you don't want usually you don't want to go against end game dominion because usually their osmos are max level and that's when they're really unstoppable luckily they're not here so mining colony constructed advanced starving ow <laughs> Give me my scouts. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Scout constructed. Awaiting orders. Warping to your coordinates. There we go. For Cardassia. For the founders. Ah. Oh no. Not again. Yikes. Maybe losing this one. We stay at DS9 side. Oh my gosh. We're not winning this one, are we? Take out one. We need to take out these guys as soon as possible. Take out the cruiser. Come here. We can do this. One of our turrets has been destroyed. So close. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff happening on screen. Ooh. We got this. Come on. Three, two, one. Don't run. One more dreadnought, one more dreadnought. Oh, oh my gosh. We did it. We destroyed the target. Don't you dare. <laughs> I'm hoping we don't I'm hoping we don't have to deal with the way Yoon at some point. So there's a way Yoon, that means we can get attacked twice. Ooh. What we lose? Fortifications constructed. Not much. <clears throat> We're lucky. Fortifications constructed. Priming special weapon. Okay. Genesis device detonated. Ships and structures orders received. Let us end this once and for all. Final battle of Cardassia. There we go. Should be easy. Why did they spawn right here? Okay. I don't think we've actually had to fight too many of their dreadnoughts in the past. I would say they have a lot better speed than the Dominion. On. Oh no, you don't. Nope. I'm gonna just fire a bit ahead. They don't stand a chance.
They're trying to predict our strategy now. Fun. No, you don't. They're right there, right there. My shield is partially gone. Ow. No, you don't. And that is the rest of their fleet gone. Why is it so silent? This sounds wrong. Oh, wrong side, wrong side. Oh, it's on my exposed side. And last defense is gone. I think it's a bit lower than that. I really do. We're safe, we're safe, we're safe. Two scouts are really low. That's okay. Bit more. Oh, come on. What? Okay. It's fine if we lose two scouts. They're not that expensive. But we won. We ended Cardassia. Ooh. Mission accomplished. The Cardassian Union is no more. Oh, really? No der. Advanced starbase mining colony constructed. Scout constructed. Scout now we're in. Constructed. Now we're at the end stretch. Awaiting ordering to your coordinates. All our admirals are either rank three or five. Okay. Founders. Genesis device. Oh come on. Ships and structures. Please no. Why? We're under attack. It's the Dominion. Oh, well, this should be fun. Only a bit more. My gosh, that was quick. I already lost who it was. One of our turrets has been destroyed. This is for Earth. There is. Come on. Full speed. Why are they so quick? Another one down. Come on. One more turret before they start becoming a threat. Come out. They are now a threat to us. One more dreadnought. Come here. You cannot escape us. No, you. Ooh. Mission accomplished. Oh my gosh. It's not a way you and we're safe. Okay. We're just going to keep on using this on it. Genesis device detonated. Awaiting orders. Warping to your coordinates. Yeah, I'm going to repair. <laughs> we lost a lot. 
Fortifications constructed. Fortifications constructed. Watch this. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. On our way. Awaiting orders. Warping to your coordinates. And now he says one move. Awaiting orders. Setting course. There's a, there's a reason why I want this guy to be in front and to be attacking. Awaiting orders. He is an offensive admiral, meaning he does better at offensive actions. Oh, they're starting to lose money. Ooh, that's pretty good for us. Full power to weapons. Oh, gosh, they still hurt. Why be strategic about this? My strategic, I mean circles. This is for Earth. Ah, uh, we lost her. Um, boost. Come on. Yeah, if you look at the bottom left, I don't know if anyone has noticed this throughout the stream, but that bar in the bottom left that keeps going up and down, that's our boost stamina thing. I don't know what the word for it is in this game. I don't just exist. It's very helpful, though. Enemy destroyed. One more. Come here. Don't run. Enemy Easy. As long as it's not a way in, we're safe though after this. Action out. No. Oh wait. We've destroyed the target. We better hope they don't have a lot of money in storage because they do. They can constantly attack us because we're right next to their home world. Constructed. Fortifications constructed. Fortifications constructed. Advanced starbase constructed. Awaiting orders. On our way. Awaiting orders. Proceeding to war. Okay. For the Pretty good. Infrastructure report. Special Upgrade weapon available. Ready for construction. If we don't attack now, we lose immediately. Cost. Reduce. Priming special weapon. Genesis device. Detonated. Half their HP. Awaiting orders. Devastated. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Warping to your coordinates. And then what we're gonna do? Orders. orders received. Hopefully don't many defense. They do not! We got this. And now one last place to attack. Advanced Starbase constructed. Mining colony constructed. Fortifications constructed. Fortifications constructed. Awaiting orders. On our way. Yep. Awaiting orders. Setting course. And I think. Yeah, let's do this. We've been doing all scouts the entire game. The final battle. The final battle. This will be very anti -climatic. They don't have much of a fleet. Luckily, we stopped him before he could attack because he used a Wayun. Wayuns, I hate them all. But no more hearing the weird narration. Full power to weapons. Fire. Bye-bye. Long, boys. Ship shields breached. Cruiser eliminated. Easy. This is for eliminated. Oh, one more. One more to go. We have lost one scout. Not too big of a deal. Enemy eliminated. Enemy eliminated. 
Let's take all the turrets first. No, you. One more. Oh, what? They just one shot one of our scouts. They had their last defense. Yep. One more to defeat. We got this. A final blow. This is for Earth. Fire everything. Deflectors are gone. We're taking fire to the primary hull. One of our scouts has been destroyed. And we did it. We beat the game with all scouts. On a hard mode against all enemies. Mission accomplished. Sir, Beautiful. We have conquered the Dominion. The United Federation of Planets has prevailed. We did it. We have beat this. And we have reigned victorious. Yeah, other than this to be a lot harder, but to be fair, once you understand how this game works, it's a breeze. Especially in arcade mode. Arcade mode is overpowered if you know how to use it. Because you never lose ships, you save so much money. A beautiful. Who knew that scouts would be the biggest fear of every other vessel? Ooh. I will show everyone what happens when you have a full. No. Let's do movement. This is skirmish mode, by the way. And we're going against uh, rank five. This is what I mean by. I'll show you guys what I meant by. They're actually powerful, if they get like max max out in the end game. This is what happens when you have to go against a full fleet of dreadnoughts when the enemy is fully ranked. Don't forget, this is still a skirmish, so it's not actually, you know, a huge thing, but what could have happened? 77. And you'll start saying why I fear the Dominion so much. Oh my gosh, so many. So many shots. So many shots. Somebody already lost their shields. They reverse. A bit more. It is very dif- ah. Trip over my own chair. It's very difficult to have to manage this constantly because... Like, this is one good way to defeat them, but if you were not to use this circle strategy, you would lose ships very quickly. Because one mess up and you're dead. If they get a chance to shoot at you at all, you're, you lose a lot of ships, pretty much. The nice thing is we're not the smartest tool in the shed. Take one out. Oh, they lost. Oh, okay, okay, we're about to lose some ships here. Oh my gosh. This is what I mean by if you mess it up once, you lose a lot of ships. It's picking away and hoping you don't mess it up. No, no. My stamina! Oh, wrong button. How do you swap? 
Okay, this ship is the best stable here. I'm using the best ship that's safe because I don't want to be stuck with a ship at like 1 HP trying to survive. Yikes. There's a good reason why I didn't want to go against a full fleet of dreadnoughts just on my own like this without any stations or anything really. Come on. Full of five dreadnoughts. Wow. Five? Hey. Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> and bam! Yeah. So if you go against a full fleet of dreadnoughts, it's a lot harder to manage. I was lucky. Yeah. Anyway. We beat the game. On with only the scouts. And I call that a win. A huge win. Thank you for all somehow staying to watch. I'll be ending it there. And. Thank you. Oh, that's almost two hours. That's got a really good duration for a stream. Hmm. Anyway, thank you all for so much to watch. I'll be ending it there. Bye. Actually, I prefer to do that. I prefer to do that. This game. It was made by Batista. Very, very back. Like, Star Trek. Conquest. 2006, I think. 2005? I don't know when. 2007. Yeah, 2007. Made by Bethesda Softworks. Publishers of Bethesda Softworks. It was developed by 4 Day Studios. Still a similar thing. So yeah. Great game. If you can get a hold of it, I suggest checking it out.